So I'm Oliver Henry uh, from Jimison Smith Shetland Wool Brokers and I'm a wool grader, wool sorter and been a wool judge for a few years now. I'm just going to show you how to uh, present a fleece for a show, for an agricultural show, um, what to do and what not to do. Um, and I'll begin just with an ordinary Shetland fleece. You present the fleece by putting the staple inwards, have it on a clean flat surface. And the fleece is just as it came off the yell. And so I usually start up here at the neck and you can see right away the neck band which is where the sheep has been grazing and you can see where it's matted with the heather and the poop. So you just start that off. Because if you don't do that, then that it's bad presentation and we will deal with that when we judge the police. So you tack that heather off of there, you can see. And then this is the belly wool. And again, you can see the, the heather, the moss and the pit which they pick up. So you tap that off, like so. And only bits of heather like this, then you, you pluck that out. Please inward, leaving the, the fine wool like that. So the fleece is sort of like, um, just fold it in and keep an eye going for the heather. And we come down to, to the bridge and you can see down here what even more heather and peat. And you can see the dags which we call brown ends. So you tack that off. Like so. Just fold them in. Father's obvious we cat veg, but it's heather and pit and moss. See I'm left a bit there, so tack that out. You're not completely tacking off the bridge, but you're tacking away the brook. Okay, so you sort of fold it in to the sides and roll it reasonably tight up towards the shoulders and the neck. And then, once you've gotten rid of this heather and the pit and the moss, you give them a bit of a shack. This fleece is just after hull and you can see the blue colour and it's just the pit mower. So you roll them up and he's fine and loose and he's full of bounds. So it's a pity tuck and I always fold them in the middle like so and then one last loop to check if there's the um, bits the wee bit there maybe so that's presenting the fleet.
a judge in the police, what we look for, and using the, the, the police scared. And this is the Connishborough Show Wolf Lease Competition, and this is the card that we judge on. And I'll explain as we go through what we're looking for. So, when we're judging, we tap the fleece like this. It's been presented. So what we do is we now go to our judging sheet. Style, breed, characteristics and uniformity of quality. Okay. So turn around the staple side. And we go up here to round about the neck and the shoulders. And you find very good, very fine quality Shetland. And it's a fairly good crimp. So the first thing we're looking for is style. And style is the crimp. We're looking for a good cramp. I think you can see that here. You're looking for a cramp. Breed characteristics, this typical Shetland. And uniformity of quality. So what you have to do when you're judging, I always do it like this, you tack a piece for you up here and you go down through the fleece. And you check that it is the same style, the same crimp, the same fineness. And you can see that there's more crimp for up by at the neck, is what it is doing here. And doing through the fleece again. You have to make sure it's all the same quality wise. Strength, springiness and handle. And the strength, again, start up here at the neck and shoulders. And you test the strength. You can see that's very soon staple. You then just do it up the under, you go down through the fleece. And you can see it's still quite strong. You come down through the back and you can see that stain there. So that's something that you have in your mind when you come to do the points. Tender fibres will lose marks. So you can see how tender that is. So this fleece here it's actually got two parts there. It's got a very strong upper part here. And you can see how tender this is. It's very tender. Colour. We're now into colour. And colour is this important. You don't have a down, down grade or down judge of fleece. Um, put it down on the pit moor because that's the natural environment that the sheep is grazing in and this colour is cast by the pit moor where the sheep is grazing um, the colour what we're looking for is if you can see any over greasing 
where there's a yellow tinge coming in. And you can see there's a slight yellow in here, and that's the lanolin, the grease. And we go down here, and you can see it. So there's, in this fleece, there's a bit of a colour uh, showing. Fibre fineness, again, that's one of the hallmarks of Shetland wool, is the fibre fineness. You can see how fine that is. We even go down through here and it's still very fine. Okay, it's not got the crimp, but it's still a beautiful fine fibre. Okay. Presentation. Presentation on this one. You can see there's a bit of dags left. And so when you're marking that, you have that in your mind. Presentation is very important. It's like when you show an animal at a show, you have to show it reasonably clean. And you can see the presentation there. And up here around the neck and shoulders, there's a bit of moss and a bit of heather. So... As you're going along, you, you register this. The way I do is I sometimes just mark it down as I'm going along, as I'm judging. So in this fleece here, we have an example of a prize winning fleece at very high quality. And I'll just talk you through that. You're still working with your fleece skirts. And the same principle, the style, breed characteristics, and uniformity of quality. <clears throat> so if you go up around the neck and shoulders, and you can see the staple length and the fineness there. And then you go down through the fleece, similar to what we did the last time. And you can see it's the same style. And the same quality, I'll go further down, and again, it's still the same. And you go right down to the back end, and you can see this fleece has not lost that. It's still got that same length, uniformity of quality. Strength, springiness, and handle. The handle is the softness, which is paramount in Shetland wool. So that is very soft. The strength, you can see that's strong, that's around, doing around the back. Come up to the neck and the shoulders. And so the strength is uniform throughout the fleece. Colour. So again, we look at the colour. And you can see the overgrease here. You can see it yellowing. It's very difficult sometimes to avoid this. Um, some folks say it's lack of sun, but that's probably not the case in Shetland because we don't have very much sun. Um, but you're just over grease. And that's marked in on that yellowing, not the fact that it's on a, a native hill. Okay, so fibre fineness. We come right down here, and you can see how fine that is. It's exceptionally fine. That's a good why I see in the fibre fineness come up through the fleece and because Shetland fleece shown is such in high quality you have to really study the fleece that's before you and you can see how fine that is presentation I packed this up
It's a presentation of this fleece. Is very good. The only thing that I found in the room, and the bit here, and that's a lump of moss, is you would pick that out. Because what you could probably find that you would get another fleece that will work out at the same points, and you need to find something to, to put that fleece down. It could be the presentation which is what I found there. It could be the yellowness, the over grease. And so that's a very good fleece, and that fleece would be marked in the high 90s. If, when you're judging by the fleece, um, judging, if you get a tie, uh, each fleece that Set the cunnage for a show, uh, we weigh very accurate, and you would multiply the total amount of points times the fleece weight, and that would decide the winner. Okay, I hope that explains a bit about church and wool. Okay. Yeah. When choosing the fleece um, to enter to, to an agricultural show, there's some things you have to consider. Um, when, when you're clapping, then if you clap on a clean surface and keep the fleece as clean as possible. And another tip is younger sheep, like first shear, that's usually the best wool. And the staple, you can see the staple here. It's what one of the old crofters tell me is the bird, bird's beak effect. It's now been flattened with shearing. And you look for a reasonably clean fleece. And the handle is very, very important. The softness of the wool is very important. As you can see by the three fleece before us here, you can see this one is the sort of best. You can see that. And this one was a bit tender. And this one, you can see the quality was a bit uneven. So you pick out your fleece and you compare it. And that will give you a good indication of what is the best fleece to show.